This is my Compass Avant Guard 140. I've had this for a few years now, and it's a 2008. Oh, and spectacular, but it's now got a few toys added to it. One of the most pleasing things that I put in was this contraption right here, which was my cruise control. Um, I've also upgraded the sound system, so I've now got uh, a digital radio with dab into it. This wee gimp here, when I start it up, this tells me the output of my battery and it's charging, and in here gives me extra charging points of which one of them I've got that which is my sat nav hooked up that I've also got my wee thing in there that was for the TPMS so it's the tire pressure measuring system and of course the reversing camera coming in to the the rear lounge area and I laid a nice wee tartan carpet and I managed to actually get Quite a close match with the, uh, as you can see, with the cushions there, and all I've done is got a couple of sheets and recovered, and I got a close match with the uh, the colour. These are the actual original the uh, curtains that come with a van, and this is actually just a cover that I put onto this, so it should be the green colour, but you know what, this is brighter. And then last but not least. There is then, I put the, the cheap Chinese gas heater in, which I just used the other day there again, and that is all working fine. So as I'm just back off, off of a wee break for two days, getting back into this and staying on top of it, it's, it's quite a good fun thing because it's no serious jobs. Um, and I find something to do. So like you go and look at the new ones for... They're now up to £73,000 for a new one. No. Too much. Far, far, far too much for, for all they get used for. Something like this. Even an older one. If you can pick one up, the older the better. Because the more you can do to them, the less that can go wrong with them. And hey, getting spares from them is no problem. And as you can see, you can turn it into your own thing. Here's the thing with the older vans. You never, ever stop working on them. So, I had an issue with the cooker. I've had that stripped out, and that was, was two screws, so I've rebuilt that, and that's all working great again. The latest thing to go is in the freezer, and I'll go and get the lid out. Now, and we'll show you what happened. So, as you can see, into the freezer here, unlock it, open it up, well the, that's the fridge sorry, but there's the freezer, okay, so it's a Dometic, it's a standard feature in a lot of them, and there you go there, but if you look closely, that snapped, and that one snapped as well, so, here's what happens, you can just pull the whole bloody thing out, and you're left with, in the bottom there, the two bits and of course what you've got in the, here is the remainders right now the issue I've got here is I can actually get original spare parts and three screws in each one gets it fixed okay but they're £30 a hinge so to repair the two of them or sorry replace them Right, it's going to cost me 60 quid. Now, the vehicle here, as I said, is a 2008. So right now, it's about 14 years old. I've never even used the freezer, to be honest with you. Okay, so I've had the van four year easy, which means then, they things have only probably lasted about eight year. Right, so they broke way before then. So I'm going to wait to spend £60 on two new ones of them. And they're just going to break again because it's exactly the same crap as going in. So looking at them, where they both snapped at the same spot made me think. That must be a weak spot. So, knowing me, I thought I buy, I'm going to try and fix. 
And what I've bought is a tube of Araldite that cost us seven pound. And I'm going to, to strip these down and see if I can get this to work. So here's the first issue. I've taken everything off for the freezer, right? So there you go. This is one side. So this is the bit that slips in the door and this is the bit that fits under the tray. And here's your tension spring that runs in to both parts here, okay? Now, the problem I've got now is, so when I put this into here, okay, it's not just there, look, you, it's not ready to fix, all right? So you've actually got to put tension on it to do the repair, which is, it's no use, it's not going to happen, is it? So, they're easy to strip down. And here's how you do it. Pushing in the wee stud here. Remove that. And then this bit slips off over. Okay. So now, I'm actually in a position to arrow date these together. And then, that's it. So, here's what I'm going to do with the job. I'm using this. And it's, when you mix it up, okay, so you have to mix the, the two bits together, all right, uh, and you have to mix it up for 30 seconds to make sure you've got a good, probably consistency and a good bond in a mix with the, the two chemicals mixing up, okay, but it says that Arnold Rapid remains usable for a maximum of five minutes so the good news will be i could probably actually just hold this for five minutes and there's not going to be any pressure on us right because once i've done that i can actually just set that there i better still actually just on its side there look there you go so i'm going to set it on its side out the way, and then it says during assembly, apply light pressure to the joint until this until set. Now, because it's because it's just a clean break straight down, it's not really the most reliable bit is it and maybe know the word I'm looking for you know but it's not the easiest of bits to put a clamp on or tape it so look like, even just if I hold it like that that's gonna do um I might be I might be able to run a bit of tape around the top of that but again do I want to so but once I've done that my plan is to be uh of to leave it uh, allow two hours to attain full strength okay so what I'm actually going to do with these is I'm going to do them tonight I'm going to give them two hours and then once it's done and that is solid I'm actually going to take I'll take the spring out of here actually there you go so I can take the spring out of that right and then what I'll do is I'll put the spring into this side first. And there's a method in my madness to this, right? Because what I'm trying to do here is create a piece, but make it stronger than it originally was. Now, to do that, once I've got that into here, all right? So if you can see the hole there, if I just get a hold of that, right? Okay. That part of the spring slips up the wee holder, okay? So, once I've put it into the hole, that's now it holding it in place, okay? And then, if you can see closely into the grooves here, right, I'm actually going to fill that with Araldite as well, all right? And at the same time as well, I'm going to put an edge of it just around to strengthen over the crack, the crack here. So there'll be an overlap, so 
it'll hopefully bond to this plastic as well. Now, because that's sitting up underneath like that in the fridge, as long as I don't go past the flat-headed areas there, this will be okay. But the sides and the bottom, I can make that as thick as I want, because it, there's nothing, nothing in the road of it, all right? So, that's my plan. Let's put it in action. Right, that's them done. So there's uh, the back one in the front other, right? Now, as you can see, maybe a bit too close. What I've actually done was I've actually run a bit of bond over the top of it as well. So, um, trying to keep a bit of pressure on them, as I say, it's very hard. But if that was solid enough there, I, I've not really got to worry about that. Man. Now, so what I've got to do now is I have to let this sit for two hours, all right? And as I said, once the two hours is done, okay, I will then put these springs into place. And then fill all this in with epoxy. So it's going to be solid. So that's going to give it a bond right around the back, right on a solid hold, and then, as I said, a coating around the edge and down the brake on the line where the line is. And then going to leave that for a whole day. Okay, so I'm going to give that a full 24 hours to cure before I even think about putting them back on again. And then hopefully that should be it. If it's not it, then I'm going to get a fork out 60 quid. <laughs> Plus a seven pound for that whole day. So, so I'm out of pocket. So, but hey. So well. While I'm waiting on this uh, curing, shall we say, I have another problem in the motorhome, and that's when my, through my heater. And they're in an awkward place, there's not much room to move, and a couple of times they've kicked this, and it's broken. Okay. Now, these things are not cheap. <laughs> They're about 65, 70 quid if you can get one, right? But my problem is, I've kicked this quite a few times, right? And because I've done it quite a few times, I'm going to spend £60 pound on another one or £70 pound on another one, and I'm just going to kick that, and that's going to break. So, here's my plan. I'm going to poxy that up as well and get that to set and what I might actually do is I might actually have a bash at spraying this uh, some kind of a, a close chocolate brown right so um, if I can get away with the spraying if I can get away without the spraying fairy days but as you can see from the top there like where I tried to glue it before you're going to see a hairline crack. There is a fracture right through that there. I've nothing to loss on this because this is ready for the bin anyway, so. Oh. <laughs> so let's go and glue this together. It's nearly now four, uh, 24 hours, sorry, no 48. And this stuff is amazing. Mix it up on a little wee bit of card or something. That's my spatula for the, the applicator, right? But I cannot believe how strong this is. So I've completed them and I've built them up. There's the the inside there that I said I was going to, f to strengthen it up. I know it's no bonny. I'm not going to be able to rub it down and whatever. This is all hidden, right? So the more I can put in this, the stronger it's going to be. But as you can see, that's where the, the brake was right across there and you can maybe just see a slight well nah you're not getting to see through it at all but if I put it right there that's where the crack started right across okay 
And on this one, I'm sure this is, no. No, that was the one that went across by the screw head, eh? So as you can see, I've had to watch where I'm going there. I also had some epoxy left, so um, I've just basically strengthened up into there. So that's the back bit all done. And here's the good bit. Okay. So this is where I'm now under the, the fridge that screws up. Okay. And this is the bit that's fixed into the door. And if I do that, now that's pivoting right on the crack. I'm not doing anything to help this, to keep it together, okay? So, there's the other one. And that is doing exactly the same. There was a bit of a, a problem just to try and get the stuff, the bonding to stay. Um, and I'm glad I was patient with it, but it does as it says on the tin, uh, give it two hours and it's solid. So what I'd done was, I gave it more than, just more than two hours, but then I've went and filled this on top of what's already cured. And as you can see, And then I had spare, obviously, because, like, it worked. <laughs> now, it's not too bad. It's, it's not the bonniest of things, but when it sits there, it will be okay. And I've come up with an idea. Rather than painting it brown, I reckon I could get away with rubbing, oh, sorry, rubbing this here smooth, right, and then spraying this with clear coat lacquer. That's the plan. Okay. And there you go. There's the join. So basically, again, I've done the same as I've done with these things. I put a bond in. I've got it to hold. Um, let it sit for two hours. And then basically, I've made another batch up. So when I was doing them to the second batch, I just put the rest over the top. And I've... I've went over where it was on the crack so that this has got a bond on the bond and the bond on new fresh plastic. And I don't know, I've never tried this, so. Ta da! <laughs> I've done something that's worked. <laughs> Come on. Let's go inside and uh, I'll fix them up in the motorhome. We'll see if it really has worked. That's the cap on the fire. All right, but before I show you that, I put the hinges in and I want to show you this. All right, so it may not look pretty, all right, but you ain't going to see that. The bit on the inside as well, there, look, you ain't going to see that. What you are going to see is is this. That is holding on its own. Let's get it fixed in before it changes its mind. So there we have it. That's it installed. And look, I don't know, I don't really want to bang it, but if you look underneath, and there you go. Fixed in properly, Sealed in properly and working properly. Now, for me, that's great news because when that was slack, anything on the top shelf here was actually getting iced up and I couldn't further them out why. So that's that sorted. The fridge is going to be working perfectly. Oh, Other go. side, there's the heater cover on. Now, it's not pretty, as I said, right? But when you're sitting just this distance away, it's not that bad. But it is actually looking better than it was. I'm taking that as a success. The fact that that's actually holding with the strength of these springs, I wish I was able to show you the resistance on them. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits. I've tried a lot of the super glues and gorilla glues and... Nothing's worked. And that's how I was a bit dubious of that. That is the first time I've ever worked with Arald Dyke.
but what <laughs> what a result I've got there. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more repairs with that stuff in the future, I can assure you. That's incredible. Uh, the strength is just absolutely incredible. I'll keep my eyes on it through time, obviously, and we'll see what happens. Um, but that's it. That's a, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. If you're new, go and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see you follow us on some other journeys and adventures. What's going to be next to be sorted? Keep that as a surprise. Till the next time. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you there. <laughs>